Hi, welcome to the Marvel Minute. I'm NetBattles AA. I'm Dynamic Custom B Works Eli the Curry. Marvel Minute is a bite sized briefing on the world of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. We cover everything from the latest broken tech to the latest broken stick. Today we wanted to talk about the recently revealed Malik Shield tech and why it may or may not be useful to a Marvel player. If you've never heard of the Malik Shield before, Zisu has a great breakdown of it that we've linked in the description. Basically, it's a way that the game prioritizes which assist gets hit by single hitting attack. Now, a lot of people have seen this technology since it came to light, but there's still a lot of people who aren't really sure that it's actually relevant to us as players. And while that's fair, there are a couple of situations that you may not have considered. Everybody's go-to example, even in Zisu's video, is Wesker's Gunshot OTG. But have you considered the curious case of Doctor Doom? Doctor Doom has three moves which are affected by the Malik Shield. His level 3 and both variations of his foot dive. If you're still struggling with happy birthdays as Doctor Doom, you can actually use the information the Malik Shield has given us to determine which character your normal foot dive BMB is going to connect on. Meaning that if you know the point character is the one who's going to get hit by foot dive, you can just keep going with your combo and not cut it short. Those attacks are all unique to Dr. Doom, but there's a universal situation you may want to take advantage of. Normal grabs that connect with both a point and assist character on the same frame are going to follow the same rules as any other single hitting attack. This means that you can use your assist to effectively eat your opponent's throw attack. Instead, they will get a heavy attack if you can beat with a throw or a faster than normal. Because the effects of this technology are so prevalent, we think it's definitely worth selecting your team to take advantage of these properties. Because the Xbox 360 version is the competitive standard, it's worth memorizing both Player 1 and Player 2's slot priority. The priorities shown are from the US version, so if you're playing outside the US, you may need to do some research on your own to figure out the priority order in your region. I like to remember the Player 1 side with the classic Dr. Dre line, still got love for the streets, rep in 213. Ah, so how do you remember Player 2 side? It's 132. Okay, but what's the mnemonic device? Well, that's the Marvel Minute, and thanks for stopping Wait, in, still... and see you next time. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs>